Good to have you join us. This is Sports This Morning. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's a beautiful Monday morning. I'm right. Austin Okonakwan. I'm Taya Salam. It's great to have you join us on the show again. This is right. what the show looks like uh, today. We're starting off uh, with the Super Eagles of Nigeria. They're getting ready for that international, for that pre-World Cup friendly against Serbia, which will be played at Barnett's Hive Stadium on Tuesday. The Super Eagles are getting ready, Austin. That's right, Tayo. It was a good one. Um, some lessons for Coach Genero and his Super Eagles team. They'll, they'll be hoping to continue to inflict pains on the top 10, you know, ranked countries Andrews. in the world. Let's right. see. They've defeated Polar. What can they do against Serbia tomorrow? Football will tell us. But back home in the country, the Nigeria Professional Football League. Ah, goals rush. We are Tayo. Mm. 29 goals scored on March day 14 of mm. the MPFL. And look at that guy he gave guy. us the second hat trick of the season. Yes, out of 29 goals, one man, Yaya Kone, Woo. scored a hat trick. Awesome. Take a ball, Yaya Kone, Take wherever ball. you are. Um, plays for FC Ifia and Yuba, uh, by the way. So, from football on the local scene, uh, we're going to Australia, Melbourne to be precise. First Formula One race of the season, and there was only one winner. And his name is Sebastian Vettel. And interestingly, <laughs> after the race, he's admitted to being very lucky uh, because Lewis Hamilton looked like he was going to win that race. Started on pole, uh, had all the pace in the world until the virtual safety car came into play. And Sebastian Vettel took full advantage and was able to win the first, re first race of the season. His own dress career podium. Wow, former world champion. Mm. Look at the guy behind him with his hands uh, on his <laughs> how, did I, how did I miss out on this? I mean, Current world champion, Lewis Hamilton. That's what Formula One is all about. Yeah. It's all about strategy. Right. So he said, this is my chance. I need to take it. And it, it, it could have been a risk, mm. but that's what it is when you're driving with speed. He took the risk and then he overtook Hamilton. But right. that's how it is. We expect Vettel to mount a challenge. He did that it, last year. Yeah, but at did. some point, he faded away. Faded away. Right, yeah. Mm. So it's good to see uh, the 2018 season is starting on a very, very dramatic uh, note. That's the only way That's the uh, you can put this That's one. The word. Like I said earlier, mm. Hamilton had pace all through the weekend from practice to qualifying and it was expected to go and win this race and it was looking really good for him until the virtual safety car came into play after uh, the ass uh, car uh, crashed out basically. Austin is all about strategy like I said and uh, Ferrari are uh, on the day. Um, it worked for them. Uh, a lot of people are calling it a lucky win. Mm -hmm. uh, you can understand why, but you have to be able to strike when the iron is very, that's very hot. That's and that's exactly what Ferrari did the on the day. The say, why are you saying lucky, lucky? We're the ones talking to Vettel. The ones that told him, come on, uh, look, Hamilton is about to pit. The safety car will come up. So mm. it's about timing also, Tayo. And right. for Sebastian Vettel, Starting on this note is very good, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. So uh, let's see, let's see what they can do to Mercedes this mm. season. Uh, we like the fact that yes, Hamilton is you know living up to his name, but Tyre we need competition. Absolutely. Be Comp I year. mean, look at the celebrations mm. there. I mean, very very important. I mean, that's how you lay down a marker and um, good one for Sebastian Vettel. Always one getting to spray all the champagne yes, right. around. Even the other, the other guys are their champagne as well too. But then the victorious guy obviously is a lot more eager. Uh, to do uh, the spray. Let's take reactions now from uh, Sebastian Vettel, Louis Hamilton, and Kimi Raikkonen. That's right. I was praying for a safety <laughs> car, and uh, then there was a car that stopped in turn four, and I was like, no, it's not Ferrari engine. Young. And then it, I think some, somebody <laughs> stopped us ass, I think, in the exit of turn two. Yeah. And then when I saw it, obviously, you know, I was really full of adrenaline even though you know the race is frozen but still to come into the pits everything on the limit trying to get back out because they told me it's really close with Lewis and when we got out ahead I knew that it's difficult to pass but uh, he kept some pressure on especially the beginning of the last stint yeah. and then at the end of the last five laps at least I could uh, you know enjoy it a little bit more. It's been an incredible weekend, honestly, uh, to, to arrive and, and have the performance we've had today. You know, big congratulations to Sebastian and to Ferrari. Today, obviously, they did a better job, and uh, we've got to go back to the drawing board and work on it. But we still have great pace. Our qualifying was great, I think, during the race. I was able to apply some pressure at the end. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah, I mean, you, you said opportunistic, mm -hmm. right? 
you have to be ready to take advantage That's right. of situations. That's right. That's so right. I'm not taking any credits away mm -hmm. uh, from Sebastian Vettel at all. Interestingly, you mentioned timing as well so before we went on to uh, take reactions and from that particular race, uh, the Mercedes um, uh, team principal uh, and CEO Total Wolf said afterwards yeah. that their computer gave them a wrong time, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's what caused, you know, that little glitch there and Sebastian took advantage. Someone must take the blame and computer the computer is getting the blame this morning, but you can see Lewis doesn't like it. Right. You know, and for Mercedes, as I was telling you, they've invested so much mm. from last season. Mm. And for them, they wanted to sustain the momentum. They want you and I to keep talking about Mercedes. Right. I mean, their driver won the championship. Yeah. And they were also good at the Constructors' Championship. Right. So why are we talking about Ferrari now? And, you know, and they're looking at it again. If not just for the lucky Vettel, mm. what also happened? Red Bull will be saying Daniel Ricciardo had a mm. good race. But again, Kimi mm. was lucky. And then right. he, said, <laughs> he pushed away Raikkonen. Yeah. And then we had um, Ferrari in first and in third. Mm. So it's a good way for them to start the season. Perfect. And for us, he's saying we should get ready to yeah, That's what it is. That's what it is. Competitive. Mm. Very, very important. And um, special mention to Fernando Alonso as well. Too. Alonso came fifth mm. uh, in his McLaren. That's very <laughs> impressive. I mean, that's the best. I mean, last year he didn't come close to finishing fifth at all. And he's done that this year. So it's uh, looking really good for McLaren. I, I, just feel for, I, just, I don't know if I should say well done also. Well, that was a, that's a former world champion yeah, we're talking about. Two -time world but champ. I don't know what's going on. As a, also, uh, we can go on and on about uh, the uh, Formula 1. Uh, Nico, Nico knew yeah. that he wasn't going to be able to keep up with... Right. with uh, his eye. And he got off the kitchen. It got too so hot. When the audition <laughs> was loud. Very loud, said, indeed. Take a bow. Thank you so much. Right. I did it where you guys didn't expect me to mm. do it. So I'm thinking if uh, Fernando Alonso is tired. Alonso is not tired, obviously. <sighs> still is a very competitive uh, uh, athlete. So We talked uh, about Ricciardo. Mm. Even last season, we talked about Max Verstappen. Mm. Then, That's uh, because they had a lot of issues, a lot of reliability issues yes, uh, last season. That's why they parted ways and with Honda mm. and engine. They've got a new engine now from so Reynolds, see. and it's looking good. Fifth to start the season. Hamilton will get a chance to uh, to respond to this uh, loss uh, at the Bahrain Grand Prix. That's just out of the weekend. Not a lot of time left before that one. Let's move over to Miami now, uh, to the tennis court. And there was a massive upset <laughs> over the weekend. World number one, uh, the greatest tennis player of all time, Roger Federer, faced off against an unfastened opponent in Tatanis Kokonakis. And everyone thought it was going to be just one winner in that one. Mm. But surprise, surprise, Kokonakis had other ideas. I mean, you know I love the upsets, but against <laughs> Federer later,